In Lancaster County, construction continues at the Route 222 and Route 30 interchange. It's one of the most used roads in the midstate. Evan Popalis has the latest with how work has been going. Evan. Valerie, yeah, construction started in September and backups continue to happen for drivers out here on the interchange. But PennDOT says it's necessary work in order to get the most out of the interchange. It's progressing. They've got a lot of the uh, early stages of the uh, temporary uh, paving done. The $70 million construction project for the Route 222 and Route 30 interchange is over three months in. One of the bigger issues, Route 30 East currently has two lanes open instead of three when approaching the interchange. David Thompson with PennDOT says that could change in the coming months. Once we get that, that third lane back open uh, to the ramp to uh, 222 North, I think that'll take care of that issue. Thompson says work has been smooth so far. The finished product will add a second lane to Route 222 South, leading to the merge with 30 West, a spot where major backlogs tend to happen during the morning commute and evening rush hour. Route 222 will go from a total of four lanes to six. A lot of the work so far has had workers behind barriers, keeping safety a priority for them, and no major incidents to report. It doesn't appear that we've had any uh, real, real major crashes uh, through that area, but we've had some fender benders that have that have clogged things up. Another way to help out with regulating speeds around the interchange, automated work zone speed enforcement. They have been very uh, instrumental and effective in, in slowing the average speed down through our work zones. Traveling in heavy traffic daily can get old quick. So how much longer is PennDOT expecting work to take? We're still looking at that four year timeline. 2027, yeah. And Thompson says PennDOT has been using electric signs on Route 222, 30, and 283 to warn drivers about potential backlogs. In Lancaster County, Evan Papalis, ABC 27 News. All right, Evan.